Ms. Materna, please tell the truth. Kasi na, napag-usapan na po ito last and you were here. And Attorney Rocky was here. In the eviction, I mean the petition filed before the Court of Appeals, uh, ang isang mga lawyers doon si Harry Roque at isa ka doon sa mga witnesses at saka si Miss Cassie Ong. La, la Princesa po. La Princesa. Yes Opo. po. Sino po ang may adi nito? Ang pagkakalam ko po kay Ma'am Cassie. Si Cassie Ong po. Opo. Doon po sa aesthetic center na yon, base po sa inyong sinasabi, nakita nyo na po sa dalawang magkaibang okasyon na binisita po ni Wesley Guo, si Miss Cassie Ong, at binisita din po ni Miss Alice Guo, si Miss Cassie Ong. Doon po sa aesthetic center na ito. Uh, Inaddress po namin sa address ni Miss Cassie Ong. Hindi yun nga ang problema eh. Because you're, you're saying na all those documents binigay niyo sa kanya na hindi niyo nga siya kilala. And as of now, alam mo, as of now, I don't believe in your story. At this point in time, she has no right to refuse whatever food that we give her or lalo na pag sa hospital kasi this would definitely affect her yes, entire ano po, uh, health po niya. Ayaw naman natin pag next time, bigla may episode na naman. So, madidelay ng madidelay itong committee hearing natin, Mr. Chair. So, hindi lang kita ko naman nandiyan siya Pero si, nung si Congressman Nabante, nakasimangot na. Thank you, uh, Chairman Nabante. Mr. Chairman, can I proceed? Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Anyway, Mr. Chairman, just an admin matters before I, I ask uh, Ms. Cruz. Uh, just this morning, Mr. Chairman, we moved to issue Sepuena for the AFAB with regards to the first Bataan Mirabilis Corporation. Uh, and Comsec informed us that they have received the document last August 28. So the motion, Mr. Chairman, and duly approved by this committee, uh, is hereby withdrawn, Mr. Chairman. Next, Mr. Chairman. Uh, we also issued a show cause order for Alice Go, and uh, the status now is uh, Miss Alice Go is in the custody of the Indonesian authorities. And uh, Mr. Chairman, instead of a show cause order, we will we'll just ask the, the Senate uh, to allow Miss Alice Go to be present in the next hearing, Mr. Chairman, upon arrival in this country, Mr. Chairman. Comsec, please take note. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Now, Mr. Chairman, uh, I will just like to apologize once again to Ms. Cruz. Ms. Cruz, kasi yung mga tanong po namin is uh, related to Ms. Cassandra Ong. And unfortunately, nandito po yung doctor uh, that will inform the committee and all the resource person on the status of the medical situation of uh, uh, Ms. Cassandra Ong. And also to the allegedly former incorporator of uh, Lucky South 999, Julian Linsangan, Maritsuwa. Uh, where's pala, uh, saan pala si, ano, si Edwin Ang? Ah, uh, you're present. Anyway, I have a question to you in relation to Cassandra Ong. So I cannot ask you, as of now, the details, but let me just ask you. Yung Dan, yung Cruz, Mr. Dan de la Cruz po. Uh, Dan de la Cruz. Opo. Kasi nung last previous hearing, sabi nyo, sabi nyo hindi nyo siya masyadong kilala. Tama? Yes, Your Honor. Uh, Na-meet lang po ni Marion Chua. As Ay, a, yun, yun ang problema. You file a case against Dan de la Cruz but you not know the circumstances of such person. And you give him all your personal data information. Eh, nakakapagtaka naman yun. Mr. Linsangan. Now, if you want, if this committee will invite uh, Mr. De La Cruz, ano po yung address niya? Saan natin makikita? Nowhere to be found, but of course, you file a case. Pero dun sa case ba, may address niya? Uh, in-address lang po namin to sa address ni Ms. Cassie pa rin. Sorry? Uh, in-address po namin sa address ni Ms. Cassie. Hindi yun nga ang problema eh. Because your your saying na all those documents binigay niyo sa kanya na hindi niyo nga siya kilala. Di ba? Kaya, Mr. Chairman, 
uh, maybe on the next series, I will ask uh, Cassandra Ong in regards to that uh, certain De La Cruz. And as of now, alam mo, as of now, I don't believe in your story. You know? Kasi bibigay niyo yung yung information, personal information niyo with the person hindi niyo kilala. Kahit ano pang circumstances, you don't know the person, you don't know the address, he's telling you na you are being recruited by Cassandra Ong. Well, in fact, that time siguro hindi niyo pa kilala si Cassandra Ong. Yes, Mr. Actually, last hearing, Your Honor, he admitted na kilala po niya si, tao daw niya si Dan De La Cruz. And, uh, pero what I'm saying is, binigay niyo eh. Hindi niyo pakilala yung tao. That's why kailangan ko tanungin si Ms. Cassandra Ong in your presence. Para malaman natin kung sino nagsasabi ng totoo sa inyo. Yes, Mr. Di ba? Yes, Mr. Chairman. Okay, thank you. Now, Mr. Chairman, to Ms. Cruz po. Ms. Cruz, kasi yung mga questions to be asked, to you should be answered by Ms. Cassandra Ong with regards to, this, to the sale, to the sublease agreement, and of course, kay Ms. Maternas, saka kay Mascarinas po. Kasi Ms. Mas, Mascarinas was the first, no, the second, oh, the first, the first uh, person that signed the sublease agreement uh, representing Whirlwind. Pero, backtracking, ay sinasabi niyo po nung nakaraan, there is no such thing as the board resolution and there is no such thing as lease agreement with Worldwind, di ba? Tama po. Apo, wala po kaming lease, agree lease agreement with Worldwind Corporation. Kahit ano pong lease agreement, wala po kami. Pero your purpose for that uh, property of yours is sale. Tama. Uh, Mr. Chair, pwede po pakiulit yung question po. Hindi po renta, but the purpose of the family is to sell for sale the land. Yes, Mr. Chair. Oh, anyway, uh, since Cassandra Ong is not present, pag-usapan po natin yan. Sorry talaga, kasi out of control natin yung nangyari sa kanya ngayon. And yeah, sabi ko nga, nandito yung doctor to explain to us the present medical status of Ms. Cassandra Ong. Sorry po talaga. Uh, Mr. Chair, uh, sa mga sulat po namin, humihingi po kami ng uh, permiso sa inyo um, kasi sa September 9 to 18, out of the country po kaming magkakapatid dahil po dun sa mother po namin. Uh, uh, duly noted po, uh, natanggap po namin yung letter nyo ahead of this hearing. Nung nakaraan po po, natanggap na namin. And uh, just in case, uh, the hearing will be set na wala kayo, okay lang po. And we'll just uh, reset it na nasa, nandun, nandiyan kayo, nandiyan din si Cassandra Ong. Thank you po, Mr. Chair. Uh, Mr. Lacerna, hindi pa po tayo tapos. Kaya lang medyo, uh, I don't know if sa, some of the members will ask a question pa. Yes, uh, uh, in the list, uh, Kong Zia and then uh, Congresswoman Mika Sun Singh. Uh, meanwhile, Mr. Chairman, uh, doon lang po muna. Okay, thank you, thank you. Congressman Paduano. Congressman Zia, you're Yes, thank you, Mr. Chair. Uh, Mr. Chair, I was slated to ask questions to Ms. Uh, Ong prior to the episode that we just seen. I believe she had a medical condition which requires direct medical attention. Mr. Chair, we have here the head of our medical uh, medical director of the House of Representatives who personally assessed and checked, examined Ms. Ong. I would like to ask uh, our doctor here, resident physician, what is now the status of Ms. Ong? What, what's the condition, really? Good evening, Mr. Chair. Good evening, everybody. Uh, well, to put it in a nutshell, um, Ms. Uh, Cassandra Ong is quite unstable as of this moment. No? So definitely, uh, as I saw in the, uh, earlier, that she, uh, blood sugar was very low. Unreadable now, doctora, even, in the, even through the RBS. And then now, it's, uh, it was uh, after giving her some carbohydrates, it was raised to 169. Her blood pressure right now is only 80 over 40. And uh, of course, uh, as, as the good doctor will also know, uh, we cannot take this one in separate, separate blood sugar and, and uh, blood pressure. So it's all intertwined. 
So that's why I can say that she's quite unstable now. One thing can affect the other thing. So, um, so that's it. In fact, if I may say, you know, this morning when we checked her, her blood, her blood, her blood pressure is only 70 over 40, 70 over 40, and we did uh, some uh, some things, you no. Know? So, but uh, right now, uh, just to let you know, right now we uh, recommended to the Secretary General. And I, I think it will be course through you also that uh, she be worked out properly before we can give the proper diagnosis to what she's having right now. Because we, we actually don't know if it's because of uh, heart failure or, or something like that or, or, or something like that. Sir. So, uh, uh, ma Mr. Uh, Chair, uh, Mr. Chair since, since this morning before since the morning, hearing, yes, sir. Yes. her blood pressure is 70 over 40. Yes, that's the lowest that she had since uh, nine days ago. So usually she has 70 over 50, 80 over 50, you know, 90 over 60. So but Mr. for Mr. one week, for almost one week, she's been like that, sir. So Mr. we're Chair. trying to see if she can still attend. And actually, we did not uh, propose anything uh, before today. Uh, but uh, 70, 40 is really quite alarming uh, f uh, even for us. So we, we gave a recommendation, but uh, uh, I don't know if that will be... Uh, sufficient enough to uh, merit her workup. So Mr. Because Chair, sa makatwit Mr. Chair, um this this ano blood sugar po niya. Yes. Uh is it is it normal in the normal range despite uh, gi giving her uh, despite after giving her the yeah. soft drinks I see usually you have to give her sugar, diba? In yes, take soft drinks and chocolate. Yes, so Yes sir. Uh, is this already a you know, normal range? Yes sir, this is already in normal range but uh, of course just because we gave her the carbohydrates right now. Uh, not, the, not the blood pressure. The, the, blood, not the blood pressure, pressure is sir. not stable even right now. It's 80 40, sir. So, so. Mr. Chair, I'd just like to ask you, you you're familiar with the proceedings, uh, Doc, no? Mr. Yes, Chair. Sir. So, can, what is your suggestion? Your, your, you know, based on your yes. expertise and, yes, and, and then based on the, the examination yes. you just con conducted on her, yes. can she be, can she, can she manage to answer questions from members of this committee having ex after having examined her with all these uh, yes, prognosis with the, with the blood sugar and with the BP and etc. What, what is your expert uh, yes, recommendation? Sir. My recommendation. Your professional recommendation. Yes, My recommendation, Mr. Chair, is for, sh for her to be excused for uh, the, re the remainder of this hearing and then a proper workup should be done to her in the next uh, coming days. So we can finally diagnose her, final diagnosis that we can have. So she can, uh, I understand because she's still here for another 20 days or so. So we should be well aware of what she's really having uh, with a good diagnosis because of all the workup that could probably be done outside, sir, outside. Uh, you know, like to the echo and uh, things like that, sir. So, so Mr. Uh, Chair. Uh, Mr. Chair. Mm -hmm. Mr. Chair. Well, I'll be objecting for her to come back and answer questions. Perhaps my recommendation would be that uh, you put an IV to her, diba? if uh, necessary. Yes, sir. And then secondly, I think she must be brought to the hospital. To the hospital. Yes, sir. Diba? Yes, So, Mr. Chair. For proper workup. Uh, for proper workup, sir. So, so we can. Okay. So, uh, please continue, continue last, Kong yes, Gia. Last. Uh, I think uh, after hearing the prognosis, the diagnosis of our doctor here, resident mm -hmm. physician, for humanitarian reason, Mr. Chair, mm -hmm. I believe that we have to uh, excuse uh, Ms. Cassie Ong from this proceeding and allow our doctors to conduct a thorough in examination on her because basically she's, she's uh, under our custody and we have to make sure that she will be healthy the next meeting or the next committee hearing that we require her attendance so that she can also be sane and healthy in answering, you know, capable of answering all our questions. So, Mr. Chair, uh, I would reserve, I would reserve, Mr. Chair, my questions in the next committee hearing, and I hope Ms. Kasi Ong will be good, oh, will be in in good shape. But we have to, I uh, know, Mr. Chair, also we have to remind also our doctors that earlier I heard that Ms. Kasi Ong refused to eat the the I don't know, yung food that we we offered her, parang ayon yung kainin. So we have to make sure also that she'll be she'll be given the proper diet. At saka wag siyang mag, mag wag siyang mag refuse. At this point in time, she has no right to refuse whatever food that we give her or lalo na pag sa hospital kasi this will definitely affect 
her entire ano po uh, health po niya ayun naman natin pag next time bigla may episode na naman so madidelay nang madidelay itong committee hearing natin Mr. Chair so having said that I thank the committee chairman for allowing me to ask our doctor and, exa- and really report to this committee what really is the condition now of Ms. Ong. Thank you very much. Uh, Thank you, Kong Mr. Mr. Chair. Mr. Chairman. Uh, Mr. Chair. Congressman Fernandez and then Congressman yeah, Alante. I just wanted to be clarified, Doctor. No? Uh, kasi nakita ko to kanina na ang uh, kanyang uh, blood pressure was 90 over 50. And then a while ago when uh, she testified, kasi 12.07 pa to eh. So now, ano yung naging blood pressure niya prior to this... Uh, no? 80 over 40, sir. Huh? 80, 80 over 40, Mr. 80 po- yes. eight over 40. And uh, what that uh, indicates? Hypotension po. Hypotension. And uh, her so, blood sugar, uh, kanina mababa, it jumped to 167. Yes, sir. That's a normal consequence of, of giving her... Because of the uh, yeah. iced tea. Yes, sir. But it is temporary. I would, I would presume, sir, it will be temporary. Will you uh, recommend uh, having her uh, in a hospital uh, instead of uh, being here? Yes, sir. I, uh, we, we gave the recommendations already to sec- the Secretary General. Because if you need to go to the hospital, yes, uh, bring for, her to the for hospital. For proper workup only, sir. For proper workup. Yeah. For please. proper workup. So so we can make sure but that when she gets presented here the next time, that uh, we are aware of what she truly has. And we, are, we have already the proper medication, the proper treatment. Do we, she, have a complete faci- Do we have yeah. a complete facility in order to uh, find out the real uh, no, not condition? Here, sir. Not here, oh, in that not case, here, having this kind yeah. of uh, blood yeah. pressure yeah. and the uh, mm-hmm. staggering uh, blood sugar, yes, don't you think it's a uh, high time to bring yes, her sir. to the hospital? Yes, sir. Or at least two, three days. Just to give the proper workup, sir. Two to three days. Bro. Okay, two you will be the one responsible for this, huh? Because uh, yes, oh, I, I myself, I will be recommending her to be yes, uh, brought to the hospital. So that Since, only, uh, yes, sir. Huh? So that only Mr. Chair, the, the next time she goes to the hearing, we already know exactly what she has and she's being treated for whatever she has. No, 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 what I'm trying she, to tell uh, yes, Doc, Doc yes, uh, Valencia. Ay, Valencia ba? Bautista po. Uh, right now, we have the uh, blood pressure that is so yes. low starting 1207 and then a while ago you told us that it was from 1960 naging 8040 siya yes sir and then the blood sugar was so low when he when she drank the iced tea it jumped to 167 mg mm-hmm. so yes, don't you think it's a uh, proper to uh, bring yes, her sir. to the hospital now if uh, if the if the committee will uh, approve of that then there's no reason for us to delay further so the sooner we know her diagnosis, so, the sooner we can treat so her. So we will be letting you the your medical expertise. No? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, Thank uh, you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, Congressman Fernandez. Uh, Doc, yes, I think sir. you should do what is necessary. Okay. Po. No, kung kailangan siya dalin sa hospital, uh, bring her to the hospital. Okay. Sir. Kailangan i workup siya. Dalin yo, g- gawin yo lahat ng workup yes, na kailangan. Oh, sir. Okay. You don't uh, actually uh, need the approval of the committee because I think this is an emergency case. So, yeah, we, we and, so and, and Mr. That. Chair, I'd like to, I'd like to uh, tell our doctors that, for for example, before the hearing, her blood her blood pressure is seventy over forty. This this morning, no. Mr. Chair, yes. Huh? This morning, Mr. Chair, yeah, yeah. no, seventy yeah. over forty, correct? Yes, yes but seventy 40. over forty. Before, before this morning, day. around ten thirty in the morning. Maybe sabi yan. Po yan nopo punta hindi to paganon blood pressure. But we were watching her the whole day, so. Somehow we felt she can, but uh, apparently she wasn't able to continue Sige. anymore, sir. Now, now that you have given your opinion no. on her medical condition, do what is necessary. The committee will abide by you. Okay, okay? Thank, you. thank you. Mr. Mr. Chair. Next, uh, Motion to... Uh, Mr. Chair. Uh, Mr. Chair. Uh, wait, um, Congressman uh, Akop. <laughs> okay, Congressman Akop. <laughs> Doc, sabi po nyo, two to three days. The lab exam will be complete. And not only the lab exam, Mr. Chair, I think uh, she will have to undergo some other procedures like uh, 2D echo and uh, other things. Po. To rule out yung heart problem. Yes, po. Pero yes, at po. her age, medyo malayo. Uh, we, we cannot definitely say that, but uh, I, I would be more comfortable with her having a, at least a 2D echo cardio. Kasi Tinatanong naman siya ni Kong Johnny Pimentel, ni Dan Fernandez. Nakangiti pa eh. Di ba? Eh, kinangkita ko naman nandiyan siya eh. 
Pero si nung si Congressman Navante, nakasimangot na. <laughs> Hindi. Oh, sorry, sorry, tapos uh, bumalik kay Dan Fernandez, <laughs> nung sinabi niya na ikukulong sa Correctional Institute for Women, biglang nagbago. Kasi yun na naki, napanood ko kanina. So, yes, pwede ba sa takot o sa stress yung yeah, Of course, sir. Stress will have a big factor in all these things. So, she's having all this stress. Oh. And, uh, Tapos, hindi pa kumakain. Hindi yes. kagaya ni Madam Baterna. <laughs> eh, tingnan nyo si Madam Baterna kasi nakalabas. Okay na, mataba na. Pero itong isa kanina, haggard na haggard eh. Di ba? Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes. Kaya nakita ko talaga. But, oh. but to correct that, sir, she's not actually fasting uh, Uh, she just refused to eat what we gave her, but she's ordering food from outside and eating properly, sir. Pero kung hindi siya kakain, talaga mangyayari yung yes, ganyan. Yes, sir. Yes. Mr. Chair, uh, I was told by Congressman Dan Fernandez that Chairman H invited Miss Baterna for dinner. Eh, matagal ko nang alam yun. Uh, di ba, Madam Baterna? Di ba? Kita kayo ni Juan H sa opisina niya. Oh, ikaw na lang. Mr. Chair, Thank you, Mr. Kidding, Chair. Aside. Kidding, kidding aside, Mr. Chair. May yes, uh, Congressman Abante and then Congresswoman Jinky Luistro and then Congresswoman Garin. I just and would then, like to make a manifestation despite the fact that uh, uh, Ms. Kasi Ong is no longer fit to face uh, this committee that uh, uh, in, in uh, questioning her Uh, Mr. Chair, that she has consistently lied in this committee. And then when we asked Mr. Linsangan and Mr. Chua, they, they actually said that uh, Ms. Kasiong is actually involved in Pogo, which, of course, uh, Ms. Kasiong has consistently denied, Mr. Chair. So I just would like to make that manifestation. Okay, thank you, Congressman Abante. Congressman Luistro. Mr. Chair, I wish to confirm from our committee secretariat if we have issued an invitation to Duan Ren Wu because Cassandra Ong kept on mentioning his name as the one who is the big boss in Lucky South. Have we invited him? And considering Mr. Chair his non-appearance, may I move that a show cause order be issued against Duan Ren Wu. So move, Mr. Chair. Okay, there's a motion to issue a show cause order to one. Oh, there is already a, a show cause? So there is already a show cause order last uh, because we've been inviting him. Uh, with, therefore, with the manifestation of the committee secretary that a show cause order has been issued already, then may I move that a subpoena ad testificandum be issued to Duan Ren Wu. So move, Mr. Chair. Second. Okay. There is Second a motion, motion to issue a subpoena ad testificandum to Mr. Wu. Yes, Mr. Mr. Wu. Chair. Uh, Mr. Wu and uh, Julie seconded. Hearing no objection, the motion is carried. Mr. Chair, one more thing. Uh, Mr. A.J. De La Serna mentioned about the property, the solar plant in Cebu. May I request for a copy of the property with the LRA as well as the articles of incorporation if it is a corporation with the Securities and Exchange Commission, Mr. Chair. I wish that the invitation be addressed to the LRA for the title, the tax deck for Cebu City and the Articles of Incorporation addressed to the Securities and Exchange Commission. So move, Mr. Chair. So, SAC and LRA, uh, please comply. There is a motion to... Uh, motion to compel uh, LRA and uh, SEC uh, to submit to the committee the documents being asked by Congresswoman uh, Luistro. Is there any second? Julie seconded. Good evening, Mr. Chair, your honors. May, may the other Ho Hold on, hold on. Julie seconded, and hearing no objection, the motion is carried. Yes, may I know your name, uh, attorney? Attorney Elizalde, your honor. I'm sorry? 
Attorney Elizalde of the LRA. Attorney Elizalde of? Of the Land Registration Authority, Your Honor. Yes, easy. LRA. Uh, LRA, LRA. Yes, please proceed. Yes, sir. We shall provide the document which you require from us. Oh, you have already provided? Will, no, we will provide, Your Honor. Ah, okay. Mr. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank SEC. You. SEC. Mr. Chair? So, Comsec, please coordinate with the, uh, SEC. Did you hear the request of Congresswoman Luistro? Can you please uh, reply? By, not just by nodding to the committee. Good evening, Your Honor. I am Attorney Heola Lebraba of the Securities and Exchange Commission. We okay. will comply with the order of the uh, Quad Committee. Okay. Mr. Chair? Okay, we need those documents before the end of this week. Mr. Chair. SEC and uh, LRA. Thank you. Mr. Chair, for record purposes, may we request uh, Mr. De La Serna to please restate the, the name of the company again in Cebu. Mr. De La Serna. Uh, uh, Northern Cebu Renewable Energy. Northern Cebu Renewable Energy Corporation. Renewable Energy Corporation. Po. Corporation. I can text it to the concept po. Uh, Okay. I can send it to the concept po, uh, Mr. Chair, Your Honor. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Okay, thank you, thank you Mr. De La uh, Mr. Chair. Congresswoman uh, San Sing, uh, Swan Singh first, and then Congressman uh, Fernandez. Mr. Chair, um, I will be, I was hoping to propound some questions to uh, Ms. Uh, Ms. Baterna, uh, but I would I could yield my time to Chair Dan for ah, okay. if it's a if, if it's related to the admin. No, 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 no. It's uh, something else. Oh. You 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 go ahead. Proceed. Thank you very much, Mr. Chair. Mr. Chair, I wish to propound some questions to Ms. Baterna uh, with regard to uh, some of the statements that she made in the previous hearings. Uh, Ms. Baterna, no nakarang hearing po noong August 22, sinabi niyo po na kayo ay executive assistant ni Ms. Cassie Ong. Tama po ba? Wala po akong sinabing executive assistant po ako. Yung sa papers po. Sa papers. So, uh, sinasabi niyo po ba na hindi po kayo executive assistant or kayo po ay talagang executive assistant ni Ms. Cassie Ong? Hindi po, Madam Chair. Uh, Maari ko po, 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 po bang tanongin kung bakit po sa mga papel kayo po ay nakalahad bilang executive assistant? Parang nilagay niya po yung name ko, Madam Chair. Meron po kayong, uh, meron po ba kayong pahintulot na ilagay po yung inyong pangalan bilang inyong ex bilang executive assistant sa mga, sa final po na petition uh, kaugnay po doon sa eviction case? Wala po, Madam Chair, kasi usually po, uh, siya po yung parang, ano ba tawag dun? Siya po yung nagdi-decide, tapos mag, parang ipapasign niya na lang po sa akin. Mr. Chair, parang may, po, Madam Chair. Mr. Chair, may I interject with the intelligence? Ms. Materna, please tell the truth, kasi na, napag-usapan na po ito last, and you were here, and Attorney Rocky was here. In the eviction, I mean the petition, filed before the Court of Appeals, uh, ang isang mga lawyers doon, si Harry Rocky, at isa ka sa mga witnesses at saka si Ms. Cassie Ong. And doon sa witnesses, nilagay doon executive assistant ni Cassie Ong, Ronaldin Baterna. So whether you... I would suggest, I would advise you, Ms. Baterna, to respond to... Ano, wag ka mag magsinungaling kasi kakakalabas mo lang. Ngayon. Andun, hindi yung nagmagsinungaling. Pinirmahan mo yun. Ha? So I would advise you to mag maging... To tell the truth, be honest, ha? be honest. Say, kakalabas mo lang, baka naman makontem ka ulit. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Okay. Um, Thank you, Mr. Proceed. Chair. Um, let me restate the question then, uh, Ms. Materna. So, kino, talaga po ba na sinasabi niyo po ba na hindi po kayo executive assistant ni Ms. Cassie Ong? Hindi po, Madam Chair. Siya po yung nagde-decide. Tulad po ng mga papers na pinapapirma niya po sa akin. Ano po ang relasyon niyo kay Ms. Cassie Ong kung hindi niya po kayo executive assistant? 
Parang boss, boss ko po, siya po yung tinuturing kong boss kasi siya po yung maraming inuutos. Opo. Pwede ko po ba tanongin kung ano po yung mga, um, yung responsibilidad niyo po na ano po yung saklaw ng responsibilidad niyo bilang boss niyo po si Kasi Ong? Ano po yung mga inuutos niya sa inyo? At tulad po nung sa mga papers, dahil siya po yung nag-aano, kasi nung una po, kinuhanan niya rin po ako ng ID tulad po ng ginawa niya po kay kila Mr. Linsangan. Tapos ang sabi niya po sa akin, parang ililipat daw po yata sa name ko. Yung parang ganun. So, since gawa naman po ng attorney yung mga papers, so iniisip ko po, legal po siya. Yung mga pinipirmahan ko po, Madam Chair. May mga pagkakataon po ba, Ms. Bater, na nakakasama kayo sa mga lakad ni Ms. Cassie Ong? Ah, yes po. Nabibigyan naman po akong chance. Opo. Um, base po sa inyo pong pagkakaalam, kasi nabanggit po ni Ms. Cassie Ong sa nakadaan po nating mga hearing na uh, nung nakadaang hearing na boyfriend niya daw po, si Wesley Guo. Uh, base po sa inyong kaalaman, boyfriend niya nga po ba talaga si Wesley Guo? Hindi ko po alam, Madam Chair, kasi hindi naman po siya nag-share sa akin ng mga personal niya po. May mga pagkakataon po ba na nakikita niyo ng magkasama si Ms. Cassie Ong at si Wesley Guo? Parang meron po. Maadi niyo po bang ibahagi sa komite na ito? Ano po yung pagkakataon na yon? Ano pong okasyon? Ilang beses niyo na po sila nakita ang magkasama? Okasyon po yun, Madam Chair, parang Valentine's, parang nagbigay ng flower yata si... Saan po naganap ito, Ms. Baterna? Ah, doon po sa ano, pinag, yung aesthetic salon niya po. Kasi nakita na lang po namin yung flowers na dala-dala niya po. Nakita niyo po mismo yung pagbibigay ni Wesley Guo kay, kay Cassie Ong noong mga bulaklak? Ah, nung dumating po sila doon, dala-dala na, dala -dala niya na po yung flowers tapos kasama po si ano, Sir Wesley. Saan po sila pumunta pagkatapos nun? Sa opisina niyo po ba? Ay, hindi ko na po alam, Madam Chair. Hindi. Saan niyo po sila nakita? Sa, sa aesthetic salon niya po. Nandun sa po may... kayo sa aesthetic salon? Opo. Hindi po sa inyong opisina? Ay, hindi po. May mga pagkakataon po ba bukod kay Wesley Guo? May, may, Guo, may pagkakataon po ba na nakita nyo na magkasama si Ms. Cassie Ong at si Alice Guo? Hindi po, Madam Chair. Sa inyo pong, um, pong pag-alala, um, kahit kailan po, hindi nyo po nakikita pa si Ms. Alice Guo? Once po. Kailan po Pero ito? hindi po yung totaling nakaharapan Opo, maano niyo po bang ibahagi kailan yung pagkakataon na iyon na nakita niyo si Alice Guo? Hindi ko po madandaan, Madam Chair, kasi doon po ulit sa aesthetic po, nag, may parang pinagawa po siya. Parang, Opo, ma parang ang dami po nagaganap, Mr. Chair, dito sa aesthetic um, salon na ito. Maano niyo po bang ibahagi yung pangalan ng aesthetic salon at um, saan po ito um, nakatayo? Saan pong, sa Podak po ba, sa Bamban, saan po itong aesthetic center na ito? Ang alam ko po nga, ay dati po, nakatayo po siya sa may friendship, sa friendship po, Angeles. Pero nag-close, no, wala na po yung, ano doon eh, wala na po yung, uh, ano tawag doon, yung store. Lumipat po yata, pero hindi ko po alam kung saan na po nila nilipat. Opo, ano pong pangalan kung naaalala niyo po yung pangalan ng Aesthetic Center? Uh, La, La Princesa po. La Princesa? Yes Opo. po. Sino po ang may adi nito? Ang pagkakalam ko po kay Ma'am Kasi. Si Kasi Ong po. Opo. Doon po sa Aesthetic Center na yon, base po sa inyong sinasabi, nakita niyo na po sa dalawang magkaibang okasyon na binisita po ni Wesley Guo, si Ms. Kasi Ong at binisita din po ni Ms. Alice Guo si Ms. Kasi Ong doon po sa aesthetic center na ito. Uh, yes po, Manager. Magkaibang pagkakataon po ito. Uh, yes po, Manager. So, uh, pinapa, dito po sinasabi niyo po sa komite na sigurado po kayo na magkakakilala si Ms. Kasi Ong, si Ms. Alice Guo at si Mr. Wesley Guo. Uh, yes po, Manager. Okay po. Salamat po, Ms. Baterna. Um, sunod po na tanong ay, kilala niyo po ba si Mr. Duan Renbu? O yung tinatawag po na Big Boss? Yes po, nakikita ko po siya. 
may pagka nung mga pagkakataon po na nakikita niyo po siya, kasama niyo po ba si Ms. Cassie Ong? Kasama siya po yung kasama ni Ma'am Cassie po. So okay. sa lahat po ng pagkakataon na nakita na nakita mo si Mr. Duan Renbu, lahat po ng pagkakataon na yon ay magkasama sila ni Cassie Ong. Eh, yes po, Madam Shirley. Um sa mga pagkakataon po na nakikita niyo sila, ano po iyon? Um occasion po ba yon o may Tatabaho ba? Meron ba silang transaksyon na ginagawa? Um, ilang beses nyo na po ba sila nakita na magkasama? Minsan lang po, Madam Chair. Kasi hindi po sila palagi pumupunta doon kung saan po ako nag-work. Opo. Um, pag sinasabi nyo po na kung saan po ako nag-work sa Lucky South 99 compound po? Yes po. Okay. Para lang po malinaw po sa amin. Hindi po sa whirlwind. Sa Lucky South 99 po. Yes po. Bihira nyo po sila nakikita, pero may mga pagkakataon po na nakita nyo na magkasama sa, magka na, sa ilang okasyon na bumibisita si Ms. Cassie Ong at si Mr. Duan Renrbu nang magkasama sa Lucky South 99 office. Yes po, Madam Chair. Opo. Ano po, kung, um, ano po yung dahilan na bumibisita po sila sa Lucky South 99 na opisina? Siguro po, chinecheck po nila yung ano, yung building, parang ganun. Chinecheck po yung building? Opo, yung, ano ba tawag dun? Yung ano po, yung negosyo nila, parang ganun po siguro, Madam Chair. Opo, so involved po ba sila sa operasyon ng Lucky South 99? Kaya sila nag-check ng building? Hindi ko lang po alam, Madam Chair. Opo, sige po. Um, yung, ah, uh, sa Lucky South 99 po, kayo po ay treasurer ng Lucky South 99? Hindi po. Um, ano po ang official designation nyo? Wala po ba kayong official na designation doon? Yung corporate secretary po, kaso Opo. papers on. Hindi wrap up, uh, Congressman Changsing. Opo. Um, ito pong mga, kasi po yung Lucky South 99, meron po mga utilities na binabayaran tulad po ng tubig at kuryente. Um... Nakikita niyo po ba yon kapag merong mga gano'n na pinaprocess? Yung mga dumadating po ng mga bill? Hindi po, Madam Chair. So, hindi niyo po nakikita? Hindi po. Um, hindi niyo din po alam kung ano yung billing address ng Lucky South 99? O na alam niyo po ba? Billing address po? Opo. Kapag yung meron address po... lang po yung alam ko, pero yung billing address na ginagamit po nila, hindi po. So, hindi po kayo involved doon sa pagbabayad ng utilities, tubig at kuryente? Hindi po. Okay. Sige po. Um, huling tanong na lang, Mr. Chair. Um, nabanggit po sa mga nakarang hearing na kayo po ay uh, shareholder at officer ng Fujian Shen Amoy at Lucky South 99. Tama po ba? Yes po, Madam Chair. Um, Mal, al, mal, alam niyo po ba kung magkano po yung equivalent ng value ng inyong shares na hinahawakan sa Fujian, Shen Amoy at sa Lucky South 99? Sa totoo niyan, Madam Chair, hindi ko po talaga siya matandaan. Opo. Hindi niyo po natatandaan o hindi niyo po alam? Hmm, hindi ko po alam. Opo. Kasi, um, Mr. Chair, mahalaga po yung katanungan natin na ito kasi po sa uh, sa estimate po ang value po ng shares na hawak ninyo sa Fujian Shen Amoy ay naglalaro sa 1.5 million pesos at sa Lucky South 99 naman po ilang million din po uh, higit po sa isang million. Uh, ngayon po kung nakapangalan po sa inyo yung shares na iyon, uh, sinasabi niyo po ba dahil hindi niyo po alam kung magkano, hindi po kayo yung actual na nagpasok ng pera para po makuha yung shares na ito? Wala po talaga akong idea dun sa uh, amoy. Uh, um, Last question, Congressman uh, Sosing. So, yes, Mr. Chair, thank you. So, ang huling tanong ko po, wala po kayong pinasok na pera? Wala po. Kahit wala po, po nakalagay kayo bilang shareholder dito po sa dalawang kumpanya na ito. Yes po, Madam Chair. Okay. Yun lang po, Mr. Chair. Um, Mr. Chair? Ta yun lang po yung aking Alam. mga katanungan, Mr. Chair. Yung Mr. iba Chair. po sa aking mga katanungan, para po kay Ms. Cassie Ong, pero dahil po sa um, kasalukuyang sitwasyon po, um, I will reserve it for okay, the other sige. hearings. Okay, Thank you, Thank Congressman Chan Singh. Uh, Congressman Dan, uh, Fernandez. I move to suspend this uh, uh, Mr. Chairman. Uh, hearing. Mr. Chairman, before, before we roll with the... Yeah. Yes.
Evangelist Admin lang po. Kasi uh, we share si Puyo na for Mr. Wu. And uh, Comsec asked me that the PNP be, or, be directed to coordinate with Comsec and SAA so that we can locate the address of Mr. Wu for that uh, suspend uh, artist. For the suspend, Mr. Chairman. Okay, um, SEC also, can we ask you to please uh, submit to the committee all corporations registered under the name of Mr. Duan Ren Wu. The same uh, name I mentioned earlier, uh, owning the company Lucky South 99. We will comply, Your Honors. Thank you. So there is a motion to suspend. And uh, hearing no objection, we are temporarily suspending this committee hearing. And thank you very much to all our resource persons for your cooperation and patience. See you again in our next hearing. Session suspended. Uh, AMLA and AMLAC and uh, NBI po.